We're back with The Breakfast and PLUS TV Africa. Thank you so much for staying with us. We head straight to our second conversation. We have our guest join us this morning, Ukadike. Ukadike, it's good to have you join us. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Good morning. Yes, please. Uh, I'd like you to, you know, i like us to talk about the current situation that we're faced with, and which is about... Uh, fuel scarcity, and you want to juxtapose that with the statement that was made from your uh, organization, the EPMAN. I mean, there's a statement to the fact that petrol would definitely uh, be equals 800 naira per liter if fuel subsidy is removed. I I'd like you to tell us why that will be the case. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh, good morning, Nigeria. Uh, so we, the independent petroleum market association of Nigeria, uh, our, our duty and our function is to ensure uh, that whatever product that was given to us by uh, NMPC, that is, uh, it is called now uh, NMPC marketing, NMPC retail, that we can be able to distribute it to Nigeria. So we are just garbage in, garbage out. We are never a bit involved in the protection of petroleum products as far as uh, uh, the process is concerned. The sole import of petroleum products in Nigeria is NMPC. Uh, and when they import this product through their uh, agents, uh, through their designated agents, those products will be sent to us at uh, to various depots and various private depots where we, we buy and now break the box and now distribute to uh, Nigeria. Uh, for the issue of petrol uh, selling for 800 naira, I know uh, one of our chairman made such statement. If you reach punch, if you reach flat week point, when the minister said that uh, petrol was set for 300 naira, I also said that it's not so visible that if you look at what is happening in the international market, the cost of dollar, cost of shipment now, the cost of hiring vessels and the rest of them. So if you subsidize this and remove all these things and all these multiplications be, uh, being involved, it will be very difficult for you to say that uh, the growth will sell for 800, uh, 300 men. Nigeria is heavily dependent on importation of petroleum products. And I wonder why we will not start determining how much the growth will be sold. Since we are not the people that are producing this petroleum product, our job here in Nigeria again as an oil producing country is to take our crews to people who can produce it for us, then buy it at their own pace. And you will find out now that the dollar is also increasing every blessed day, increasing, uh, commodities are increasing every blessed day. So I also believe that for pegging prices, it is not realistic because uh, demand and supply will determine the price of the commodity if, if the market will be liberated like what government has said. So if demand and supply would determine it, why the projection of 800 naira per litre? Uh, one is trying to understand the rationale behind 800 naira per litre. I mean, that's what has been stated. Uh, that is projection. Because if you look at uh, the, I want to take about the domestic distribution of this, uh, of, of, of this PMS. Uh, in Nigeria, from only uh, mother, uh, the some of the daughter vessels, taking from the daughter vessels to your various depots, you will find that these vessels are being hired before for uh, $60,000. But now, because of the high cost of diesel, diesel is almost 1,000 naira, from 180 naira to 1,000 naira. You will find out that diesel, uh, the cost of diesel only, has made this, the, this little uh, daughter vessel that we normally used to hire at the rate of uh, $60,000. So, hundred and something thousand dollars. So, when you impute all these things, the matter charges and the dollar is going high and we are going to the uh, black market to go and cost this dollar. Government is not giving us this dollar and the rest of it. This will increase the price. So, if you look at the little, little issues that are inherent in this, you will find out that even as that uh, it would be the product will be going higher and higher. Look at what has happened to diesel. Diesel was one eighty before. They said we have liberalized the market. Diesel is nine hundred naira now. So they give us the same petroleum product. If diesel is nine hundred naira, as I'm speaking with you, why will poor be sold at three hundred naira? 
Okay, uh, um, so so but the NNPC has uh, um, has come out to give their own, you know, um, and uh, of course, uh, Chief Ukadike Chendo, National Bureau of Ipman, um, um, you are on the private sector uh, side. The NNPC has come out to give their own, um, you know, uh, their own figure and what they are saying the petrol may go for if uh, we remove uh, uh, the subsidy. And they're talking about um, uh, the 462 naira per litre. This was last year, uh, 462 naira per litre. So if NMPC is saying they're calculating 462 naira per litre, is um, Ipman not going too far, you know, to say uh, 800 naira per litre, looking at some of the things that you've, you've, you've put up as the situation? No. Would that create panic, no, 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 um, that's unrealistic that's expectation, that. fear? Yes, that, that's Are you not trying to probably do some yes. price fixing here? No. That is, it says myself. That's what one of my members said, myself, because he's also a presenting well with diesel. Diesel was 180. When they say we have the regularized, we have the most subsidy on diesel, everybody can go and import. No, oh, diesel is good for 900. Uh, is it not the same petroleum product? Can I say now it's almost paid for 900? A bottle? A litre? Is it not the same petroleum product? So why are we now saying square will be sold for 400? What is the difference between diesel, kerosene, and... If you look at, if you look at their prices uh, via MMP, you will find out that all of them are sharing almost the same price. Hmm. But we're hearing, I mean, we're expecting that the Dangote refinery uh, will be completed and of course will come be um, fully operational let's put it that way very soon uh, we're also told that the Port Harcourt refinery is nearing completion and uh, this year it will be uh, not completion but the renovation is almost complete and this year the Port Harcourt refinery will resume at full capacity um, I mean you in Port Harcourt we know where that refinery is and we can you can we know all the state of that refinery and um, when these uh, but on stream, if we add to that, the modular refineries around the country that the federal government is encouraging. I mean, will this 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 suspicion, this forecast, uh, or this prediction by the independent marketers, will will it play out to see eight hundred naira per liter? Chief Okadike Shinedu, can you hear me, please? All right, sir. So it's, it's a bit difficult hearing you. I think you may need to check I'm it out. Hearing, I'm hearing yes, yes. So with all these refineries coming on board, the private sector refinery, we're talking about Dangote, the government refinery, we're talking about Port Harcourt refinery, and then we're looking at the modular refineries around the country. Should we be um, this fearful? Now, I, I thank you. You mentioned this, uh, this uh, few refineries, and also the four government refineries that we've obsolete for the past three years. You also remember that the minister has promised us that uh, uh, by the end of uh, February uh, that the uh, protocol refinery should come up, will come up on stream. And uh, we to always pray and uh, uh, pray very, very prayerful because there's nothing we do now, we don't put it in the hands of God, you know. Uh, there's nothing you can be able to determine in this country that this is what, how it's going to be from two period of time to two period of time. It's very, very difficult to determine. But what I'm trying to say is that before you talk about removal of subsidies, before you talk about deregulation, before you talk about unbonding the NMPC, making it a corporation and all the rest of that, this has some of the problems distribution of petroleum products is facing now. We would have, first of all, get our refinery price. We would have, first of all, re refine our crude. And look at the best price of refining crude in Nigeria. And when we refine our crude, we can let it, the government can able to determine the price. This price we told the investors, or those who are going outside to go and import it, uh, PMS for us. And when we have a competitive market at a local level, the international market will not really determine what the local prices are here. But now the international level, marketing level, has accepted our domestic consumption and price of the chosen product. If there is no war, in uh, Ukraine, or the ice, uh, um, the ice in uh, Russia, or the sea, that it will definitely affect our distribution of, uh, of petroleum products. Mm -hmm. And once the scarcity is high, racket, uh, and short of supply of petroleum products, for, for, racketeering will set in, profiteering will set in. These this, this are normal nomenclature in terms of any business in the world. You understand me? So, they, our, our four refineries 
I have also, we have also been saying it, I say that President Muhammad Buhari should order a set of emergency in all our refineries and ensure that this our refineries work before he leaves up. Mm. So that the, it, it will, will be held here, you know, going into uh, deregulation, removal of subsidies. Oh, it can't just say you are removing subsidies. We don't have subs. We now we can be able to take this product locally. Now the refineries are obsolete. The Dangode refinery is coming up on board. And some of these modular refineries. These modular refineries are not government, are not government owned. They also take their crude based on the rate in the international market. If you go to Niger Delta Refinery and want a switch refinery, they are selling diesel at the rate of 700 or something like which is also equivalent to the importation, the ones that are being imported in the country. It is as good as when right, when you say, uh, all right, so I, I know that we have been talking about the future. Apparently, when uh, petrol subsidy would end in June, according to the Minister of Finance, eventually uh, you, uh, your association or group have said that Nigerians should expect to buy petrol, you know, from 800 naira per liter and above, and uh, that's quite worrisome. But um, as much as you have also mentioned that, uh, you're not in the business of fixing price, but we remember that the Petroleum Product Pricing Regulatory Agency had removed the cap on price of petroleum motor spirit and, of course, uh, uh, given marketers freedom to fix the price. So, apparently, is it, are we still talking about the forces of demand and supply uh, being responsible for, you know, the prices of, uh, you know, petrol among others, diesel and what have you. And secondly, a lot of Nigerians are buying petrol for about 250 naira per liter, 260. Let's talk about the now, 300 naira per liter. Why is that? At least for now, subsidy is still ongoing. It's not been removed. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I will, let me first take the first question. The NDPR uh, last week, no, not last week, three days ago, invited Magetta. And now say that governments can uh, uh, do price adjustments, that marketers should sell petroleum products in their finished sector for one hundred and ninety naira. And the, most of our members who attended that, you know, frowned at it because one, we are not even seeing the problem, and you are also saying you are deregulating. I also say you are fixing the price. It's a little thing you say now. You ask them this person, you ask them. It has been answered. It's NDPR who is the policeman of the industry, will tell marketers that this amount, they are the same uh, petrol station. You have heard about it, that the NDPR have still so -so petrol station. What is not the regulation they are talking about? That is not the removal of the cap. If you remove the cap, you allow supply to determine the market. If you are supplying for petroleum products enough, as an you will find that the price will come down. When the price was 165 naira, that was the cap first gave to us, the uh, PPR gave to us. You also find out that there is an adequate supply of petroleum products. And that even marketers are selling uh, petroleum products at 162 naira. And they will give you cap. They will wash your vehicle for you, just for you to patronize them. Because the product is adequate. It's everywhere. Once you saturate petroleum products in this country, and it's all the loose and carry of this country, you will find out that the, 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 the prices will be four times. That is, the, that is the supply chain. So I, what I'm trying to say is that we should be able to be realistic on the, some of these government policies. Because these government policies, sometimes they wake up in the morning after taking coffee in their, in their, their in office, and they come out to sell us the change. As I'm talking to you now, they say they have increased price. That is uh, the price market actually. Is it, is so, so, so Chief, of yeah, Chief Ukadiki, you're saying that you're saying that the NMDPRA um, invited petroleum marketers, independent petroleum marketers, to a meeting and inform them yes. that they are to sell a PMS at 194 naira now? Yes. Because, yes. Yeah, because uh, some, some newspapers uh, had... If, 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 the, uh, if they don't sell, they're going to see that PMS. Hmm. Okay. So how, how, do you, how, how, do you, how do you reconcile that? But, but to, your knowledge, to your knowledge, has there been a public announcement by the government of this price adjustment? Because what we have are some newspaper reports that we're saying they noticed that at NMPC petrol stations, they are now selling at 194 per liter. 
But from my checks, there's been no public announcement yet. Are you aware of any public announcement informing the public that, oh, we have changed the petrol price, oh, now it's 190, so we, we know. Is there something that has been put out there or not, to your knowledge? Well, you, if, you, if you know how the NMT system works, they normally communicate with their customers. You understand me? Since you are a customer to an MPC, once there is any change in price, either through a radio flex or through a town hall meeting or through an interactive Facebook ad section, they will be able to tell you that look, this is what you If you also go to a, the NMPC portal, if you have if you are not an NMPC customer expert, that's the same expert, you also find that the price has changed here. Yeah. So one ninety uh from one ninety six uh seven uh, uh seventy couple. It's now um, one eight something, one eight something, one eight four something. I can't remember. But the portal now has changed. So are you, are you talking about the X the X depot price? X depot price, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Forty naira okay. increase. Forty naira increase. Wow, wow. But so they've, what, they've, they've not told the. I mean, because normally it's always a an issue of national debate where government say we want to increase. We we'll tell the public. Why waiting when? You have officially, you yourself have officially go to an MPC police station and you see that the price has changed. The people who could change the price didn't do it themselves. That was the communication to the marketer who is handing down their police station to be able to go and change the price. Because the MPC will not arrest you turn above what they have stipulated for you. You understand? Unless there will be a reverse, because we are not saying uh, this Unless there will be a reverse tomorrow, which we might be anticipating. But we are okay. saying that what will uh, this. They have lost all that at one depot. They cannot be able to push us through up on those at one depot. Let them concentrate on the private depot which they are using now. And make this product available. I was I was told by one of my, my members in the, in Lagos that it's only like two, three, three, two, three, three depots that the petrol is being uh, dispensed, uh, uh, being loaded in Lagos. And we have over fifty something depots in Lagos. In Portacos, we don't even, we have over that something uh, private depot. It's only like one or two that is loading petroleum products. In Canada, there is none. So uh, uh, how do we reconcile this? All right. Chief, we have to go. Uh, we have to go. Well, thank you so much, U -U uh, I, I hope I was hoping that we had more time, you know, to talk about it. But, uh, of course, time is not on our side. We do appreciate your time this morning. And we look forward to sharing your thoughts in this period where Nigerians are going through a lot. Thank you uh, so much for joining us once again. Chief Ukadike Chinedu is uh, the national PRO of Ipman. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. You, and that's the size of our package this morning on, uh, on the breakfast. Um, I mean, we had time. Mm -hmm. wanted to find out from him why, why petrol stations, his members in Port Harcourt were selling petrol at 400 naira per litre. You know, While in places like Lagos, if you queue, if you queue, you will still buy at 250. And, and, 260, and yes, you know, 250, uh, 260. But the product is paying as much as 400 naira per litre. Uh, apart from that, how, how come you still uh, also have those who are selling you know, petrol? If we say that the product is not available, then how come you have a lot of persons selling you know, petrol in jerry cans and all of that? Oh, the black market is booming. The black market is thriving. It's and booming. So it's, it's, uh, hey, that's a good question. It's Mercy. a very pathetic we, we, one. We don't have much time. But we have to go. Um, thank you so much for your time. You can always watch us, you know, follow us on social media or across our platforms. Uh, it's on Facebook, uh, Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Bupo. Have a fantastic day. And my name is Kofi Bartels. If you find Fio anywhere, please you let us know so we can join you in the queue. God bless you. Good morning.